Hello guys, it's me again, Kill Switch. So today I'm going to show you guys my player versus environment builds for the Tempest class here in Season 27. So let's start with the open world farming. For the skills, Wind Edge, Rolling Surf, Crosswinds, Wind Walk, and Squall. For the Paragon Tree, I am using a legendary skill, Roaring Strike. But take note, if you are using this one, this needs 80 points. Basically, you are losing 200 points of armor, armor pen, potency, and resistance. But because it's just player versus environment, it's okay in my opinion. For the active skills, treasure find, grid, gold find, boundless strides, and delaying the inevitable. For the green set, 4 pieces Vitus Urges is a must. You can also combo this with 4 pieces Gloom Guides Prize, 4 pieces Banquet of Ice, 4 pieces Angmet's Conflagration, or even 4 pieces Grace of the Flagellant. The legendary gears, I will just say the name and you just can read the description here to save time. Just pause the video if you need to. Unyielding Vision, Merchant Scale, Breathtaker, Windswept Promise, Flooded Stream, Sip of the Breath, Shriekwort, and Hurricane Hitch. For the basic rotation, just use Rolling Surf, Crosswinds, and Windwalk immediately for your buffs and then use Squall for mobility. So it looks like this. For mobility, jumping from enemy to enemy. So that's it. For the dungeon build, it is basically the same except for the Paragon Tree. Instead of using Boundless Strides and delaying the inevitable, I am using Rat and Exorcism. And I am also using this Exad Dut, <laughs> if I pronounce that correctly. Because of that main hand, the Rolling Surf has now more damage, but the mobility is not that smooth. But I like this for dungeons, especially when you are on the boss. For raids or even for Gauntlet, the skills Wind Edge, Cross Winds, Wind Walk, Blade Dance, Squall. For the Paragon Tree, I am now using Lightning Rod with the active skills here in Slinger, Unseen, Dynamism, Gifted, Blood Thirst, Fury, Sp Superiority. For the green set, 4 pieces again Vitus is a must and 4 pieces Gloom Guides Price. For the legendary gears, I am using all of the new essences. It's the first time that a class has a good synergy with all of the new essences. Gloating Remora, Sleepy Rachel, Breathtaker, Howling Anchor, Deep Redound, Reaper Jaws, Shriekwort, Hurricane Hitch. For the basic rotation, just use two of your buff, Crosswind and Windwalk. And then Blade Dance to bleed the enemy and spam Squall. So basically, it looks like this. Spam Squall. Especially when the enemy is bleeding. You can spam this. Bleed again. Spam. Buff. So it's basically just like this. It's very easy to use. Especially when you are in PC. That might not give you the highest DPS, but for me, I really like this build because of the Anli dashes. For Challenge Rift, I am using the same build, but just using the highest green set that I have, so I can have more combat rating. For Defense of Sirangar, Endless, or the normal one, I am also using this in Trial of Hordes. For the skills, Wind Edge, Rolling Surf, Crosswinds, Cascade, Breaker. For the Paragon, I am using again Roaring Strike. For the active skills, here in Slinger, Unseen, Dynamism, Uncanny, Gifted, Careful Aim, and Sharp Eye. For the green set, at least 4 pieces Vitus Urges or you can use 6 pieces so you can have heal, especially on Trial of Hordes. The rest of your slot, again, you can always use Grace of the Flagellant, Gloom Guides Prize, Banquet of Ice, and Angmet's Conflagration. For the Legendary Gears, Dream and Drown, Merchant Scale, Barnacle Plague, Flaring Lighthouse, 
Flooded Stream, Marozi Spine, Shriekwork, and Hurricane Hitch. For the curse properties, I am using 6 pieces Vex and 2 pieces Lash. You can also replace Lash with Tortured if you want to. Alright, so that is for the video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment that down below. Thank you for watching. Until next time.